members have any other questions? No, no, no. I, just, right, I keep finding the yellow lights. Um, what's your, uh, well, I see pupil, you know, teacher ratios. I understand in high school because you've got many, many different, um, different subjects you've got to cover. So, I mean, that's, that's coming. You're going to have a low one in the elementary school. What's, what, what's the class loads? Because I, I see the class load in all the elementary and the middle school. What, what's the class load? Um, the average class load, I mean, are there real low classes? Because kids get a choice of taking classes, In right? terms of class sizes? Yeah, with AP courses and all of these, what, what's the class load? Well, the, what the board has done is they have uh, created target class sizes as they develop their budget. So kindergarten, they strive to keep at less than 20. Uh, grades 1 and 2, 20 is the target. Grades 3 and 4, between 20 and 23. Grades 5 through 8, between 23 and 25. And uh, the high school, between 28 and 30. Those are the target numbers. Okay. How, how are you hitting the kindergarten numbers right now? How are we in the kindergarten yeah. numbers? How are, are they above? They were excellent. The kindergarten numbers? I just was wondering, you know, did they are lower than 20? Yes. The kindergarten? Yes. yes. The numbers? Okay. But what about the high school? Because that's not the size of the high school? It, it varies. You know, it varies because you've got a range of, say, 16 and AP. Calculus, uh, and you could have a 29 in uh, Algebra 2. Okay, uh, over the past uh, three years, our class size have increased because we've been requesting additional staff every year, 2007, 2008, 2009, uh, and it had not been funded. So it's been creeping up from 22 to 23, 24, 25. We have quite a few classes at 28, 29, 30 right now. Are your AP classes low? Uh, no, classes? we have some. Uh, we have uh, AP classes of 20 and 26. Okay. Thank you very much. Way beyond where should be. I'm sorry, I just asked one more question. I'm curious. I noticed in your kindergarten, and uh, there were nice ratios, but you have one full day that's funded for the grant. That is correct. And you have 12 children. That is correct. Is there a reason why it's only 12? Yes, yes. The, um, the program is funded through Title I funds, and those funds must be allocated to serve the neediest students, and okay. the neediest is defined as at, at risk uh, for school success. And so there was absolutely a desire to keep that class as low as possible because the needs of those students are so high. And so uh, we, we set that target as a class size. We knew that the, the learning needs in that classroom are particularly significant. Do the teacher need in that class? Right. And do they come from all of the town of young students or just from that school? No, that program is specific to a Title I school, so those students are only from the town street. I just wanted because it seemed to be an opportunity to come to the wall. Is that a one for year, one year that grant? Uh, Title I funding is something that the district receives every year, and that's based on free and reduced lunch percentages. So as long as we continue to receive that, our plan is to continue with that program. The early results, the early data, shows that those children have made tremendous gains as a result of the full day program. Mm -hmm. Members, any other questions? We just had one. Superintendent Messenger is about page two. You have a breakout. This is what we have a second page. It's not the headings. The starting of the schools in the path. Now, under restoration of answers to achieve. 10, 11 budgets. You have a number of bullet points, and then you have the administrative re reorganization. So what I would like to do is give me a dollar figure net of what <coughs> your, we'll call this incremental or new program that is going to cost. What dollars does that represent? So I look for it under in the old budget. That's one thing I know. They used to break out new programs. So. That should be 93,581. <coughs> That's our total net incremental cost to, for restorations and new programs. Okay. Did members have any other questions of any member of the board of engineering? <coughs> Superintendent Mr. Joseph, Mr. Carey, Mr. King, Smallman. Has school population changed in the last year or so? Has it changed up or down? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we are now 2,500 students. Uh, we anticipate being in that all So no substantial. We've had a very, very slow growth. You know, the real estate market in the tank is probably going to stay remain slow for a while. 
tell you who was going down slightly, right? So I, I added those up. About 19 not, and 20. Not, not much to speak of. No, about 19 yeah. and 20. Oh, we, we continually have flow in and out. I don't want to go ahead. Has, has the board of it considered adding anything on for our extracurricular activities for the middle school kids? In this day and age, kids are going home and they're going right on that computer and we're having major, major problems with Facebook or Facebook, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's major problems going on. I'm a middle school teacher. And at, I know I teach in Grant. We have nine sports at the, at the middle school level. Stonington has two. And, you know, and one of them hit 12 kids on a basketball team, you know, because they make cuts and everything else. Has the board ever considered, like, instituting clubs or, or things like that? that? Or is that just something that, hey, it's, it's, it's okay. another enhancement that probably would get cut? comes to us regularly, um, and, and we have a couple issues. We do have an athletic committee. That tries to deal with new sports, and it, although it's addressed specifically on the high school level, where we say we're not going to bring any new sports on, whether it's hockey or wrestling or whatever, until we fully fund all the sports that we have existing. Similarly, with the extracurricular activities, to the extent that they're going to cost additional money here, they're going to take money out of the classroom. And so that's that's really the line that we're in. We have, we have multiple. Approaches or, or multiple requests for different activities. We try to do the activities that we can fund or have funded, but um, at least at this point, we don't see how we can add additional sports on a middle school level. At this point. No, I would, I would agree. I think Bob, you've had serious money constraints that have not enabled you to seriously consider expanding those activities. And one, one of the reasons I asked this, though, is that you told us that 75% of the kids are able to participate in sports at the high school level. Um, and part of that reason is because you have low numbers in the high school compared to other high schools. Um, bigger high schools, you know. Um, and I just wondered if you could spread out some of the things you have at the high school to um, take care of the children at the middle school. Um, because that's an age when, you know, high school kids, lots of them work at the school. So you have kids playing multiple, when you say 75%, you have kids playing multiple sports also. Um, but at the, at the middle school, I, I just think it's important just to, to try to get these activities in, because we don't think about that in our middle school kids. When we sat through that, we sat through that presentation last night about um, you know, drug and alcohol and other substance abuse issues going on, and they, they obviously seem they started the no, survey started in seventh grade, you know, they're starting there before then, mm -hmm. um, and we understand that. But our focus, at least in terms of, of athletics, is the existing right. athletic programs. Um, if there were a windfall, if there were a grant, mm -hmm. if there were a better budget year, we'd be, we'd be really happy to be able to do it. But I think that's our restraint. But one piece of very good news is that the club uh, and intramural activities that are available at the middle schools are very widely participated in. And sure. The schools each year uh, try to take stock of what student interest is and to try to modify the offerings uh, for those kinds of things. For instance, art club is incredibly well attended at the middle school, and, and there are a variety of options, but couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Do, you have a, do you have a late bus like to take kids on the day? We do have a late bus. So you do have an intramural program at the middle school? Okay. Well, if members have no other questions, then I want to thank you all for coming and uh, the excellent job you've done.